Hi, I'm David Lawrence, and I'm gonna show you how to make a great recipe created by Elise Bauer of simplyrecipes.com. One of my favorite recipes is uh, just basically oven roasted chicken thighs, bone in, skin on, served with some mango chutney, and the sweet and sour flavor of the mango chutney really is a great complement to the rich flavor of the dark chicken thigh meat. So we're gonna roast these chicken thighs, but before we do that, we're actually gonna pan sear them. And the trick to searing is you wanna get this pan really hot, and I mean hot. You definitely wanna see a little bit of a ripple in the oil, and you actually wanna see a little bit of smoke starting to come off the surface of the oil. Don't let that freak you out. I know a lot of people kinda of panic when that happens. It's a good thing. Open a window, you'll be fine. That sizzle, that sear, is exactly what you wanna hear. That sound is music. Once these things hit the pan, you wanna leave them alone. I mean, the biggest mistake that people make is they immediately start poking at the meat and touching it and start moving it around. When you do that, your food is gonna to stick to the pan and it's gonna rip. So let this go, let it do its thing, and you're gonna get that beautiful caramelized sear. Now we're gonna get on with making the mango chutney. You can easily make a mango chutney sweet and sour sauce if you have a couple of fresh mangoes and some vinegar and some sugar and some onions. It's really easy to do. And that sauce can be cooking while the chicken pieces are cooking. So I've drained the fat off the chicken thighs. I've got about a tablespoon left in the pan here. Over moderate heat, I'm going to throw in some chopped onion. Add a little bit of chopped fresh ginger. Now that the onions have sweated down a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and add the garlic. It's important to add garlic right at the end of the sweating process. You don't wanna cook garlic too long, because if you overdo it, it could burn. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. We've got the fresh mango, with some golden raisins, a little bit of sugar, some white vinegar, and we've got some mustard seed we're gonna throw in. And then, for an extra bit of flavor, I like to add a little bit of chicken stock. Elise recommended that we serve this dish with a, you know, just a simple white rice, which I think is a really good idea because there's so much flavor going on in the chicken and the mango chutney, it's actually the perfect foil. So our chicken thighs came out nice and golden brown, beautifully seared. And now we're just gonna add a little bit of that mango chutney. Look at how beautiful that is, it's got great color. And then just to round it out, I like to add a little bit of something green. So for me, peas are the perfect complement. So give this recipe a try and let us know what you think. Get more recipes from Elise along with other top food bloggers at goodbite.com.